Good day, Ziggy D here, and welcome back for Monday Musings, the show where I ramble on some sort of topic for about 10 minutes, and occasionally you guys find it interesting. So these topics in the past have mostly been focused on personal development and random musings I've had about the world or various things like that. But uh, I'm not limiting topics to just that. I also want to talk about gaming occasionally. And if I'm musing about something in gaming, it kind of just comes down to what I'm musing about that particular day. But this week, we have a gaming topic for you guys. I want to talk about Let's Plays, the, state, the history of Let's Plays, the state of Let's Plays, and uh, Let's Plays in regards, in relation to my content, how I feel about them doing them, and uh, how I feel about doing like gameplay commentaries and things like that. So, first up, let's talk about the history of Let's Plays to give some perspective to my thoughts. So, Let's Plays started originally sometime at around 2006 was the first sort of recorded things that were actually titled Let's Plays. And these were on the Something Awful Gaming forums. And uh, basically people, I think it started off with a thread about Oregon Trail where people posted screenshots and kind of like writ, writ, wrote down a narrative of their playthrough of the game. Now this sort of spawned a bunch of threads like this and uh, basically people would provide either like a roleplay sort of narrative, like uh, talk about the game, playing through the game from their character's perspective, and would basically write a story based on their gameplay experiences of, you know, essentially what is a very simple game. Uh, or they they do games where they uh, did it kind of like a walkthrough, but very entertaining as well, more from the actual player's perspective. So uh, they, a few different things like that, a few different styles, but they kind of all were very, uh, very high effort written content with... Um, screenshots and things like that. The first video Let's Plays came around in about 2007. I think it was by someone called something Beef. I can't remember. Slow Beef, I think it was. Slow Beef. But yeah, he made the first um, video Let's Plays. I think it was for Super Metroid. And uh, these are along the same sort of theme as the uh, screenshot one. They just started getting incorporated into the YouTube thing because YouTube was starting to become a little bit more accessible there. I think it was through YouTube he actually did. I don't actually know. But uh, yeah, but basically the first video one's there. So since then, uh, Let's Plays and uh, Let's Playing of video games, new release video games and stuff like that, has become very popular, but it's kind of changed from that original conception idea. Uh, nowadays, I hate to say it, but most Let's Plays are very low effort sort of just playthroughs, generic playthroughs of new games, and uh, they get a lot of views off the fact that it's a new game, that people want to see the game and see a playthrough of the game, decide whether they want to buy it or not, or maybe they just want to watch the playthrough of the game. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this sort of Let's Play. However, I do think the Let's Play format still has a lot of potential, and there are still some really good Let's Plays out there, and there have been some really great Let's Plays in the past. The one that I really like to point people to, uh, to when I'm talking about good, high-quality Let's Plays, what a Let's Play can really be, is uh, Chip Cheesem. Now, Chip Cheesem is not a major YouTuber, and most people who are fans of Let's Plays probably don't even have and nev never seen Chip Cheesem's Let's Plays. But I still think they're some of the best Let's Plays, the best example of Let's Plays out there. In particular, the one I'd point out is his Let's Play of Metal Gear, Sol Metal Gear Solid Rising Revengeance, I believe it is. It was kind of the action game Metal Gear Solid, one that I never really played, but uh, it's one of the few Let's Plays that I've actually watched quite a bit of, because I don't really watch that many Let's Plays myself. But, uh... Basically, it was him and a friend, and it was extremely entertaining. They commented, like they, they commentated the game as they played, as one of them played through. They talked about the game, an extremely, very highly entertaining, very funny guys talking together, constant commentary. Now, but in addition to that, and that's not all, it just wasn't about the entertainment, he was extremely good at the game, insanely good. He would get 100% all the way through, uh, Get he'd know exactly how to get S rankings on every single mission, and also where all of the secret hidden things are, and he'd even show off little extra hidden bonus easter eggs and things like that. Now, the amount of work and effort that went into these Let's Plays that Chip Cheesem did, and this one in particular, the amount of editing, and the amount of like game knowledge and practice, and uh, even effort into the actual commentary itself is insane extremely high quality content but uh, let, the let's play format is e very easy to adapt to a low effort sort of style of commentary basically pick up any new game uh, play it just talk over the top of this you know the cutscenes a little bit just kind of remark on things that are happening in the game and uh, not really put that much effort into it but it's still something that can be very popular because it's a new game people want to see that sort of stuff and I'm personally not much of a fan, as you can probably tell, of that style of Let's Plays. And I think that is generally what Let's Plays are seen to be now. I don't think many people think of Chip Cheesem's style of high effort, high quality commentary, transformative work guides, slash walkthroughs, slash uh, entertaining, hilarious uh, Let's Play. I think they more think of what is the most popular Let's Plays on YouTube now, which are generally the very low effort ones of new games. 
And uh, that's sad, because I think the Let's Play format did have a lot of potential and was really good to begin with, but it's something that has degraded seriously over time. So you'll never see me title my content, I think. You'll, I think you'll never see me do that. I think you'll never ever see me title my content as a Let's Play or do a Let's Play style uh, playthrough of a game. I don't know what I'm going to do in the future when it comes to when I'm streaming and I get a new sort of single player narrative driven game. Whether I will stream that or whether I will just play that separately by myself because I don't want to do a Let's Play style stream session even. But I'll definitely never put something like that on YouTube. However, I'm doing a Baldur's Gate commentary playthrough at the moment. How is that not the same thing? How is that not, not a Let's Play? Let's reel things back a little bit and talk about the three different types of making legal video game content on YouTube. Because uh, from a technical standpoint, there's only certain things you can do. You can't just put up any video of a gaming gaming footage or something like that and uh, you know monetize it and earn a living off that sort of thing. Firstly, there is guides. There's things that instruct people on the use of a product. That's primarily what I make. I primarily make guides. Then there are reviews. Now this includes reviews and discussions of games, basically anything that reviews uh, features. Discussions can also fall into guides and things like that, but generally reviews uh, help people make informed buying decisions. So both of these are protected by law. Uh, guides that instruct on use and reviews that uh, help people make informed buying decisions. Both of these things are protected by law, and they're two things that I do a lot of. The third thing is transformative work. So basically they take the original artwork and add a significant port portion of their own art, their own effort, their own content into transforming that original artwork into something new and valuable for consumers. Now the third part is very iffy when it comes to legal sense. It's very hard to draw a distinct line of what is a transformative work and what is not. The current state of the Let's Play industry on YouTube is very, very borderline. And uh, some people are running into legal issues, and I suspect that's going to get much worse in the future. I suspect a lot of Let's Players are going to run into legal issues. Now the problem is, it's kind of hard to tell now whether a lot of Let's Plays are making a lot of sales, and a lot of them are. It, it, there's definite uh, in evidence to support that lots of Let's Plays are making lots of sales for game developers and publishers, so they don't really want to pursue legal action against these people that are helping them get sales. But there's also the counter argument when it comes to certain types of games where they're very extremely narrative driven uh, and watching a playthrough is more than enough instead of buying it. You know, is what that person doing, is that a transformative work? Is it benefiting the, uh, the uh, producer, the creator of the game? Are they going to pursue legal action against these sorts of things in the future? Hard to know. Generally, I'm not a fan of producers and stuff pursuing legal action against uh, transformative work or guides or walkthroughs and things like that. And this sort of thing has happened in the past. We had Square kind of almost do it, but then back off. And uh, we've certainly had Nintendo do it in the past, and that's, uh, that's always a shame to have good informative and uh, guides and things like that sort of content taken off YouTube when, uh, you know, it deserves to be there and is protected by law. But uh, I think we will see some stuff happen with Let's Plays in the future that is a bit borderline. But uh, yeah, so transformative work is, is the question. Is someone's just commentary and reactions and remarks to the game basically just like watching over someone's shoulder as they play a video game? Is that Does that count as transformative work? And a lot of the time, I don't think so. I think you need to put a significant portion into that. So let's go back to my Baldur's Gate Let's Play, because that was, well, not Let's Play, played through commentary thing that I'm doing. I don't really know what to call it, but I'm trying not to call it a Let's Play. <laughs> what? How is that different? How is that different? What am I doing? With the Baldur's Gate thing, I uh, picked out a game that I've never played before, so yes, I'm kind of going into a blind, which is generally one of the, the ingredients in a recipe for a low-effort poor Let's Play, I think. But I'm trying to uh, infuse as much role-playing, uh, thought, tactics, commentary, and uh, everything else I can into to make that a completely new work, a completely new experience for viewers. And so far, it's still something I'm a little bit unsure about in general. Doing just general gameplay commentary is uh, not my core, it's not my main niche, and it's also something I'm still a little bit unsure about in general. But based on the comments I've been getting about people who have played the game a lot and saying this is reinvoking a new sense of passion in them about the game, or re reinvoking new sense of awe because it is this transformative work, because it's something different. It's not just the game, they're not just watching the game again, they're watching something different, a new piece of artwork that's been created out of that game plus my commentary and all the effort I'm putting in. So that supports my theory that what I'm doing is good and not what the Let's Play industry has become now. And the other thing is new players that are coming to it and seeing this and then going out and buying the game, saying they're buying the game and really enjoying the game and also really enjoying my commentary and saying things like, hey, you're really approaching this combat very tactically or you're doing a really good job role-playing your character and stuff like that. Those two sorts of comments are really supporting what I think are 
what I think Let's Plays should be, but I'm still not going to call my content Let's Plays because I do think that this is alluding to the wrong sort of thing on YouTube now, the sort of content I don't want to make or don't really want to see that much. So yeah, do these Let's Players steal from producers? Uh, it's really, really hard to say because I think in general I really don't want uh, a lot of strong legal action to come against YouTubers in any form, but also I really want people to put effort into making very high quality commentaries and things like that. The problem is this is a very hard problem to solve because people want to view content for games. They want to view gameplay commentaries the minute a game comes out or even before if they can. And it's very hard to make a well informed high quality commentary the day a new game comes out. So, I don't know. In general I think multiplayer titles or uh, very titles that have a lot of freedom for the player to play the game very differently. I think these are pretty safe games to do, but heavily story-driven games like a lot of the uh, kind of more like interactive storybook adventure games that are coming out these days. Uh, I don't know if you can ever really do a high-quality transformative work of those or whether it's just inane banter over the top of it. So, I don't know. A lot of questions and not many answers from me, but that's kind of what this musing series is about. But I would love to hear your thoughts. How do you feel about Let's Plays? What do you think about what I've been doing in terms of gameplay commentary? Does it fall into the trap of low quality, low effort Let's Plays? Or is it something different? Do you think that you know is, is the right thing to do? I'm still a little bit unsure about it. I think I'm on the right path there. But yeah, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on Let's Plays in general. And uh, those are my thoughts. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's about it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.